Nicole here. Thank you so much for joining me. And I have a fun sequence for us today. And it may be a little bit edgy in the fact that it's going to be quite different maybe than what you've done in the past. And it's so, there's so much value whenever we put a little bit of pressure on our edges, put a little pressure on our patterns to see what comes up. And I really hope that we do this with our mindset as well. I hope that we explore at our edges in our um, beliefs, in our um, worldviews. And this is a wonderful place to practice. We do it with our movement as well. So what do we do when we don't do the thing that we always do? And I think that can be a really, a really beautiful inquiry. Um, what are we, what do we love that we don't know that we love yet? So I think it's really important to leave room for unknown possibilities, whether that means um, an opportunity or a, um, a new idea or view or a new way to move. So we'll explore this on our mat. Close your eyes down. Get comfortable in a seat. Maybe you're sitting up on something. Maybe you're sitting on the ground, wherever your sit bones and whatever your sit bones are touching, press down, ground down, and let that downward energy create the upward energy so you're finding some length in the spine. And we can add some breath to that. So an inhale, you can imagine the back of the neck lengthening. And an exhale, imagine the sit bones, tailbone grounding down. Again, in. And out. Once more, in. And out. Beautiful. Take hands to heart center. Thank yourself for carving the space out for you. And we'll begin to add some movement to the breath. So we'll kind of play around with some different things today. Mm. And slowly open the eyes up. And take the right hand down towards the ground. I'm just gonna do a little bit of kind of opening up the back. I was playing around with this the other day and it feels really nice. For me, maybe it will for you too. So take the right hand down. We're gonna reach the left arm across. So reach as far as you can, but leave the left sit bone um, on the ground. So we're reaching and then inhale, open up. Maybe look back towards the left hand and then reach across. Inhale, open. So we're getting a little twist here. Exhale, reach. Once more. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. This time take this arm up and over, left arm up and over and place it behind. Right hand comes to the knee and we'll take a proper twist and stay for a moment. Roll the shoulders back, bring the heart center forward just a little bit and expand um, from shoulder to shoulder. So it's like almost like the collarbones are smiling. Drop the shoulders away from the ears just slightly. Really fill up on your inhales, full out breath when you release. And let it go. Left hand comes over towards the left side. Right arm reaches over. Get a big stretch from the fingertips down to the right sit bone. And then inhale, we open all the way up. Gaze follows the right thumb. And exhale, swoop and reach. Inhale, open again. Inhale, open. Once more. This time we're gonna go up and over. So go up, gaze can follow the hand, plant the hand behind the hips, and then left hand to the right knee. Press down like we did in the beginning, press down through the sit bones to lift through the crown of the head, back of the neck, 
and then roll the shoulders back, pull the heart center forward just slightly. And you can use your left hand to press into the right knee a little bit to get a little bit more of a twist. Steady breath. And slowly release. Tabletop. Place the hands really wide, fingertips rooting down, knuckles rooting down. Bend the elbows here. Yeah? So bending the elbows and tuck the toes. Begin to sink the hips back to the heels. Keep the back arch. So we're going to do this will be different than what we normally do. So drag the hands towards the knees. You can think about um, dragging the hands towards the knees as the heart pulls towards the top of the mat. So there's that opposite energy going. And then exhale, begin to gaze down. Exhale, kind of blow into the ground as if that was going to puff up the back of your heart and then arch. Come up, shoulders over wrists. So this will be into our cat pose. Exhale, elbows bend. Hips move back as the heart energetically moves forward. Hands pull towards the knees. Maybe find a bit of buoyancy. And then exhale, gaze goes down. <sighs> Audible exhale, puff up the back of the heart. Twice more like that. Inhale, elbows bend. Hips sink back, gazes forward. And exhale. <sighs> Once more like this. Move like you're moving through honey or molasses. There's lots of activation possible when you do that. Once more in and exhale. Beautiful. So the toes are tucked. Downward facing dog, press back. Take a moment, wiggle anything that feels good. And let's separate the feet towards the edges of the mat, same with the hands here. So bend one knee, then the other, still finding some organic movement. And then we'll come to stillness. Inhale, lift the heels up, and exhale, bend the knees quite generously. Now listen up. We're going to take the left, both heels over towards the left. Place the weight into the left hand, and very lazily we're going to open up into this kind of really lazy side plank. Gaze follows the right hand, and then exhale, comes back down, wide downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale to the toes, exhale, bend the knees deep. Inhale, heels over towards the right as you slowly open up. Knees are bent here, so this is, doesn't have a lot of alignment in it. It just feels good. Open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once more each side. You can follow along with me or just move with you. Inhale to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Belly all the way to the thighs. And then next inhale, heels towards the left, slow open. Let's take two rounds of breath here. Maybe even sink the hips down to the ground. And then come back up. Just an option. You can explore anything here. Let's do this once more. Inhale, toes. Exhale, belly to thighs, bend the knees. And then inhale, heels towards the right. Weight into the right hand, open up slowly. Maybe bend the knees so much that the booty hits the ground. And downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. And exhale, bend the knees almost all the way down to the ground. Arch the back, send the booty up, and then press the ground away. So we'll do this with breath and we'll wave forward. So wave forward, puff up the back of the heart. Exhale, knees almost down to the ground. Arch the back, push, leading with the tailbone. Beautiful. Waving forward, waving back. Let's slowly walk towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. So hands can come down to the ground and you can bend your knees. Or you can take the hands to the shins and lift up a little bit higher. 
The purpose of this pose is to find lots of length from the tailbone to the crown of the head. So lengthen the back of the neck, pull the belly in to protect the low back, and exhale, fold forward. Twice more like this. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe play around and see what feels better with the hands on the knees. They can, the legs are still bent a little bit. Exhale, fold. Or if it feels better to bend the knees even more and stay down. Inhale, halfway lift. We're just lengthening the spine here. And fold. Bend the knees. We're going to roll up. And we're actually not even, don't even think about rolling up. We're going to press through the feet so much. Find some buoyancy. So you find a little bit of a bounce. Maybe separate the feet here. And we're going to bounce our way up, pressing down through the feet. So you're eventually uncurling the spine. Have some shake. Oh, it feels good. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Really exaggerate it. once more and come to stillness take a moment into dasana just because i like this pose i remember it used to just seem like a kind of a boring pose we're not really doing anything but actually there's so much going on here and so many places to bring our awareness to so we'll spend just a moment let's take the awareness down to the feet first shift forward back side to side to feel all four corners Beautiful. Really rooting down through the feet. And see what it feels like to separate the heels just slightly. So what that does, it'll create an internal rotation on the legs. And I can feel that in my sacrum. I can feel it gives some relief on my sacrum there. So you just explore in your body, see what happens. And lift the kneecaps up. And lengthen the tailbone down just a little bit and see how that feels. Knit the low ribs together. Lots of little cues. And the shoulder blades together. Turn the palms forward and lengthen the back of the neck. Let's try that again. We'll go through from the bottom. Press down, root down through the feet. Slightly separate the heels. Lift the kneecaps up and lengthen the tailbone just slightly. Knit the low ribs together, as well as the shoulder blades. Lengthen the back of the neck up. And breathe. Tadasana. Does this feel different? Such a powerful pose. <sighs> Hands to heart center. Inhale, drop the arms down and lift up. Gaze follows, hands wide and up, exhale, hands heart center. Again like this, inhale, hands drop down, fingertips wide, lift up, gaze is up. And exhale, we're gonna fold down, bend the knees, bring the arms wide, booty goes back, all the way down. Hands can touch or to the shins. Inhale, halfway lift, find length, and we're gonna switch it up here. Exhale, we're going to bring the heels down. We're going to bring the hips down to the heels. So check it out. You can stay right here with the hands on the earth. And up to you, I like to bring my feet together, press my legs together. This gives me a little bit more power here. So you can bring the hands to heart center if you'd like. And if you are here, then practice lengthening the tailbone down as the back of the neck lengthens up. So we're not tucking anything, we're just finding length. And now separate the knees just slightly. You're gonna reach forward as the heels come down. So this, the heels might not come down, but you're going in this direction. Where the torso is reaching forward, the hips and the heels are reaching back. And then we're going to find the ground. Yeah, this is the next part of it. Slowly roll back, hands are reaching forward, spine comes down onto the ground. And then now take the hands down to the ground. Bring the knees into the chest. Here's a pit, a pit stop. You can stay right here, knees into the chest. We're making a sequence here. Or you can begin to lift the legs up. Now, I'm gonna say this. 
I'm going to show you, so watch now, because I don't want you to turn your head and watch me while you're doing this. We're going to move into plow pose. So here's your chance to watch. Press down through the hands, and we're going to lift the hips up. You can stay right here. Take the hands behind the hips. You can bring the toes all the way back if that feels okay. You're pressing down through the triceps and through the back of the head. Yeah, so be sure that you don't have any pain in the neck. Once you're here, we don't want to move the neck. So that's why I'm wanting you to watch me here. So lots of pit stops. You can come all the way here to plow. You can come up just a little bit. You can only lift the legs or you can stay tucked in. Yeah, those are the options. So hands come down by the side and come to your um, whatever pose you'd like to come to. So knees to chest, lift the legs up, maybe all the way back into plow. We'll stay for a round of breath. Exhale, the spine is going to come down. Take the hands behind the knees, come up with it into boat pose. With them into boat pose. So boat pose options as well. Roll the shoulders back first. Heart moves towards the knees. Hands can come down. They can stay behind the knees or they can reach out. You can also play with extending one leg or both legs. So boat pose here. We'll stay here for a round of breath in the sequence. And then we're gonna cross the ankles, plant the hands, and step back into a downward dog. Inhale, wave forward plank pose. And exhale, bend the knees, wave back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's lift the right leg up. Bend the knee and open the hip. Spend a moment here. I like to lift the back heel and then bring it back down just to feel in. Press more into the right hand as well to square the hips. Right foot comes down. Let's switch sides. Left leg up. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Woo. Press more into the left hand. And exhale. Foot plants down, gaze forward. Step slowly to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold down. Bend the knees, press down through the feet and we'll roll up slowly. Ah, oh, yum. Hands come up and exhale, hands, heart center. So now we'll speed this up a bit, just with breath, yeah? So you can choose where you'd like to go. Just have fun with it. Inhale, lift up, gaze up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, sink the hips down. So hands can stay on the ground or you begin to lift them up to heart center. We'll stay for a round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Working on balance, pressing legs together. Inhale. And exhale, begin to open up the knees. We'll reach forward as the heels come down. Yeah? So it's been just a moment here. And then we're going to bring the booty down. Bring the back down. Maybe chin or shins come in. Or you plant the hands down, come into plow pose or any version in between. I'm staying for a round of breath. And out. Inhale. And exhale. The spine lays back down and we come up into boat pose. Your variation, your version of. Round of breath. In. And out. Inhale. And exhale, cross the legs, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step in between the thumbs and plant the back knee down. Inhale, heart opens, broad from shoulder to shoulder. And then exhale, press back Ardha Hanumanasana. One, exhale. 
Again, inhale, come forward, open the heart, and exhale, press back. Listen up. Inhale, come forward, left hand plants, open up, right arm. Roll the shoulders back, bring the scapula together, gaze up at the thumb, inhale, and exhale, right hand plants down. Next inhale, L shape, press into the right leg as the left leg lifts. Exhale, stay here, pull back on the right hip crease just slightly. One more inhale. And exhale, the left knee comes down. And we're gonna come all the way down to the booty. And we're gonna come into a twist. See if you can plant the left foot on the ground. Just going in that direction anyway. Left arm reaches around the right thigh. Pre the, press the sternum and the leg into one another. Same with the arm, pressing in. We're gonna gaze back over the right shoulder. Plant the right hand down. Same as we did before, roll the shoulders back, bring the scapula together, pull the heart center forward. A couple rounds of breath here. Can you continue to press the thigh into the belly, belly back into the thigh, keep that connection. Press down through the sit bones, reach through the crown of the head. One more inhale. And release. Just a little counter pose. Hands are going to come to the left side. Bend the elbows and see if you can reach the crown of the head towards the ground. It doesn't have to go all the way there, just going in that direction. And slowly come up. Push yourself forward. Left foot meets the right forward fold. Bend in the knees, press down through the feet, lift all the way up, roll up, hands meet, and exhale, hands, heart center, and we'll do this on the other side. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bring the booty down towards the heels, maybe come up into prayer pose. One round of breath. Slow and steady. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly plant the heels down as you reach forward. That's that counterbalance. And then the booty will come down. Then come into wherever you'd like to go. Maybe the same place, maybe something new. Round of breath in. Anything pressing the ground, add some extra press down, even the back of the head. Next exhale, begin to slide the spine down. Boat pose, new reversion. Round of breath in and out. Inhale. And exhale, cross the ankles, plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Let's wave forward. Slow and steady. Exhale, wave back, bend the knees, hips move up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step in between the thumbs. Back knee comes down. Inhale, heart rolls open, gazes up. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Bring the hips back. The front leg doesn't have to go straight. Inhale, come forward, open heart. And exhale, come back. Inhale, as you come forward, plant the right hand down. We'll take a twist. Left arm comes up, pull the left hip crease back. Exhale here. Roll the shoulders back, scapula together, inhale. And exhale, plant the left hand down, shift the weight forward. Next, inhale, press through the left foot to lift up into L shape. Exhale here. 
pull back on the left hip crease. Inhale. And exhale, right knee comes down by the right heel. Sink the booty down. Bring both sit bones to the ground if you can. Maybe the left foot can be flat on the ground as well. Right arm wraps around. Press the thigh into the belly. Belly pressing back into the thigh. Arm pulling in. Left hand plants behind. Roll the shoulders back, scapula together. Press down through the sit bones and lengthen the back of the neck. Breathe. And slowly release. I'm gonna plant the hands, shift forward. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Once more. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hips come down. Shoulders roll back, hands to prayer pose. Once more. Two rounds of breath here. You can begin to open the knees, reach the arms forward, find this counterbalance as you slowly, slowly, slowly bring the hips down. And we'll come into Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet together, knees wide. And we're gonna have a little reflection inquiry here. So note and Be curious about how that was for you, how your inner voice was, how the inner chatter was, doing something different, maybe some new poses or some new sequences, and how that resonated. Was there a curiosity? Was there a frustration? And slowly begin to come forward. And how was the breath? Did you notice that you were holding it? Did it seem fluid? And even inquiring down into the sensations. What does it feel like to move in new ways? To activate different parts of the body. Slowly coming up. You can cross the legs and we'll take some big spirals. So it's so important that we, yeah, expl explore the edges to mix up the patterns, mix up what we normally do to see what it is that we do when we don't do the thing that we normally do. And I think that's really important in all aspects of our life. And that's how we begin to get to know ourselves more and that is really, in my humble opinion, what this practice is about is a tool to help ourselves know ourselves more. And then from that place, we can reach out um, and explore our world and our relationship with others. Oh, it's good stuff. I'm so grateful. Let's take a few rounds of breath together. Audible exhales. Once more. Beautiful. Bring the hands together, thumbs to the third eye. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's bow forward to seal our practice and together we say namaste. Mm. So much gratitude. Thank you for continuing to let me be part of your practice. And this really um, holds me accountable and helps me to explore my own practice in order to share to share with you all. So always coming up with new, with new uh, inquiries and and movements. It's, it's beautiful. I love. I absolutely love it. So appreciate you. And if you are interested in connecting live or virtually um, online, I have some courses coming up. Some online courses, online teacher trainings 
also have um, in-person retreats, fingers crossed um, that they happen. Um, so check out on the website. They are filling up quickly. So I hope that we all get to meet, um, yeah, that the world complies. <laughs> Um, I think that's all. I will see you next time on your mat. Ciao.